What's up, YouTube? I finished up on the, ch the uh, chicken run area. I got the coop up on the blocks. You know, originally I was gonna have it on a trailer and you know pull it around so they can free range out in the fields, but I tried that. I had one chicken and it got attacked and got killed. So I had a fence man, but I want to try something different because I want them to eat some fresh grass all the time and uh, have that available cut back on the food, the feed that I got to give them. So let me show you what I come up with. All right, there's the coop. I got it up on blocks. And here's the pen that runs from down here, across, all the way up to the coop. It is actually 10, 20, 30, 40, about 50 feet long going up and 10 feet wide each section. And I will show you what I mean by sections. Because I divided this in half. It's actually 20 feet long, 20 feet wide. And I divided down the middle, so we got 10 and 10 on either side. And why I did that was because if you see this structure thing that I built here, it has a gate on it that slides back and forth. So in other words, and I have this section fenced off. And let me just give you a, a backup on the gate. The gate is four foot wide and I have two four foot sections on either side. So, one day, I don't know, I gotta see how this works out. I don't know how many days I'm gonna leave them on one side, but let's say whatever, three days. So I leave the gate over on this side, three days they can run on this side of the run. And they can mow the, mow the grass down a little bit. You know how they, uh, they start scratching, they wreck everything. So, leave them on three days on this side. And then, after three days, I'm going to just take this door and we're going to slide it on this side. So now, they can't get to this side. This, this, this side of the run will have three days to recoup and then I can let them on this side. And the same thing, let them over here three, four days and I'll switch them back. But all I did was make a little uh, a gate I just have it sliding on top of the two by fours. No big deal. I was gonna buy that barn, barn door with the wheels and all that, but you were talking spending at least hundred and twenty-five dollars for that, for the wheels, the railing, and all that. So I just put it on two by fours, put a little bit of one by six, stuck it up about an inch so it doesn't fall out of the track. And I mean, it's easy enough just to pull. It's not heavy. It's, you know, I took some two by fours and I ripped them in half to inch and three quarter, I believe it was, to make it as light as I can. So that's it. You can slide it from back and forth. We'll see how that works out. Maybe three, four days on one side and rotate them back on this side and back and forth. I mean, this in here, they'll, they'll have, they can run around in this area all the time. You know, they can get under the coop, get out of the sun if they want. And I'm probably going to build a couple little canopy things on either side so they can get under if it's uh, really hot and sunny out. So this is the back of the coop. I mean, you guys seen this coop. I got my little chicks in here, Robin. Well, they're Robin's little babies. I don't know how many she got in here. I don't know, 18, 20, something like that. It's a lot, but we have a lot of eggs, but she's going to try and sell them down the uh we'll get rid of them we'll eat what we can and we can sell the rest i'll put a little hatch a little latch on here we've got one side you can open up and there's there's all the little babies now the different varieties she's got i'm not really too sure i'm pretty sure i know that one right there some kind of polish uh they got this like feathers on the top of their head. You can see them right there. There's a couple of them there, you see. I know there's some Jersey Giants, these black Jersey Giants. There's actually one right there. That's one of the breeds that I wanted. A big large bird. This one right here. This guy right here. I'm not sure what these other ones are, I forget. You have to ask her in the comments. It's the one with the little feathers on the feet. 
There's one guy standing on top of the feeder. And there's also another variety in here that's brown, light brown, with the white on them. But they'll be staying in this coop probably for another uh, three weeks or so before I let them out. I want them to get pretty big before I let them out of here. You've got your nest boxes, roosting areas. I might have to make another roosting area on this side because a lot of birds. So well, that's about it. Now they just got to grow and start giving me some eggs. Well, that's going to be taking a little while. Six months, I think it is six, seven months before they start laying. I probably won't get nothing until maybe in the fall, or well, definitely next spring. So there you go, YouTube. Alrighty, take care.